Hey, what is up, homies and homettes? It is Mr. Siege Starscream, and he is supersized, utilizing the ConstructBot Starscream parts from many, 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 many moons ago. ConstructBot, if you don't know, was kind of like Hasbro's foray into the world of Bionicle before Creo really was a thing and stuff. Actually, maybe Creo was around at the time. No, I don't think so, actually. I think ConstructBots came first, and they're very Bionic-ly. And uh, they utilize 5mm port tech, and so here we are. He's beautiful, right? And so we're going to go over um, the robot mode, and we're going to go over the alt mode um, that we're going to have in the second um, half of the video. Cool? So he's very, very easy to make. You just need the wings from the set. You need the arm armors for the set, which are being used for the arms. And very appropriately, the leg armors from the set are being used for the legs. I mean, that's super, that's it. It's super simple, right? Yeah, and everything, like I said, is just being plugged into 5mm port pet. If you don't like this, I mean, you could put it over here. And, oh, that's kind of cool, actually. I, I, I like that lining up like that. Wait a minute. <laughs> See, so this is all, all sorts of fun that we can have. Yeah, I kind of like that. It just lines up like that. Um, That's not bad. I think it looks good in, in, in either pose, right? Hmm. That's nice, too, though. I think I'm going to go with that. Yeah, so this is the fun of it. You're just kind of building your own armor, your own story, with your own creativity. And, yo, know, he got these, like, reverse air razor sparrow wings, kind of whatever this is. You know, I mean, I'm not a jet airplane aerodynamics guy, but he's sick, right? He looks really, really good. And, um, yeah, it holds up real well. And, um, yeah. So without further ado, we're going to go into the second half of the video, which is the alt mode um, transformation. So we're going to figure stuff out. Um, okay. One, two, three. All righty. All lefty. Let's uh, let's try giving this guy an alt mode. Um, I have saved you the trouble of seeing me cumbersomely, cumbersomely, is that a word? Um, transform this guy. But now we have him in his tetrajet mode. Uh, let me just kind of rework the focus. All right. So I'm going to try to keep it right about here. So yeah, we're familiar with the Tetrajet, right? It has a lot of different ports on the bottom. Uh, three in the back, as you can see, and there's a couple under the arm, forearm. Part of the leg, you can extend the fist out. So technically, you could like move all these little bits around um, to achieve whatever you want. But first, we have the wing bits. And when he was in robot form, we kind of had them like this. I don't know what this reverse design is called. Like, I know there's a name. Is it just called like reverse wing design? I think that doesn't look bad. We can just kind of carry the robot uh, motif, like the theme. Basically, like if he had just transformed in robot um, to jet mode directly, like, all right. So this is having some difficulty sticking here. Um, and I think it's just the the fit is slightly, it, it's a little too loose. Let me see. You know those pieces of paper that come with the instructions? Dude, I always keep them on hand. <laughs> I have like a million of these, dude. Um, all right. Let me just line that up. Because I do not like permanently um, modifying my toys. And the reason being is you might get one character where this does or does not fit well. And then you modify it for the purpose of that. And then you'll see that another character, it was fitting fine. You know, with another character. So it was just that pairing. All right. So cool. That's in there. That's a that's a nice tight fit. I think that's kind of cool, man. Reverse wing. Um. Hmm. Yeah, this one, this this is really loosey goosey too. Better than the other one though. So, gun up top or gun on bottom. Let me try up top. And the reason I'm putting it up top is just because the, um, the bottom wing is not the perfect color for, um, here, you know what, all right, is not, is not the same color as a jet. So I'm going to bring something back up that unifies um, the color, the color theme. And so, but I want to see, so this is the leg guard. Um, if I try to keep it on the leg over here, there isn't any clearance. I could move the arm out of the way technically, but that is moving the arm out of the way. Um, hmm. 
All right, well, let's say I had the leg guard up here like that. No, nah, I don't like that. Have the leg guard. I could have it down here, but then it, it won't. The plane won't sit flush. Then, um, what about here? I can do that, but again, the plane will not sit flush. So I think that's kind of out of the question. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to untab the arm. Just for a little bit, just for a little bit. Bear with me, Star Scream. Um, all right, so I kind of got his, kind of got his arm out of the way. Can I do something with this? There mm. doesn't look that good. Can can this go in there? No. It's not that great either. All right, let's put the wing. Let's put the arm back. We're, we're, well, I mean, I feel like we're close. It's just a matter of figuring out. Oops, sorry. It's just a matter of figuring out. It's just a matter of figuring out basically where we are going to situate that piece. Can I have it sit? Well, I want it to sit flush because I want as much clearance as possible on the bottom. Um, because I, I want the, the plane to be able to, um, I keep saying sit flush. All right, you know what? There's a little bit of a clearance problem over here. So I'm gonna see if I can just untab the, the wing a little bit. Um, all right, now, not only does that help with the clearance issue, now I can raise this up basically. Um, yeah, so this, this is just a problem with Starscream's bit, you know, um, all the seekers have it. Starscream has the worst, I think, P P Piog? I think him or off the bottom is one of these gentlemen. They 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 put like a permanent screw through through theirs. I remember watching it in um, their video, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, that's really bad." And then I got the toy, and I realized like, "Oh, that was, that was a really tight fit." I don't want to force it too much. So okay, we got that. We got that. I'm liking where this is going now. Now that we kind of figured um, that bit out. Now that we negotiated it. Wait a minute. How come this one is not sitting flush like the other one is? So this one is in here like this, and oh, okay. This just a matter of uh, fidgeting around and getting this gun straight. I should have prepped, but well, whatever. It's kind of looking cool. I'm digging this actually. On the bottom, it looks nice too. I almost want to flip these around, but if I do, oh, it, it can't. It can't plug in. Yeah. I would actually prefer this to be the top, but there won't. There's there's no there's no way to plug it into the um, the wing if I do that. So that's fine. That's fine. So now I have these. Oops. Now I have these blue bits. Um, I just put them on the shoulders. That's cool. Kind of pushes the wing up though. Keep it on the arm. No. Okay. All right, I think we're done. I think we're done. Okay. Neat. Neat. It is a super Tetra jet. Almost kind of has some like X-Wing vibes to it. Um, but yeah. And so now we have our guy. I was about to call the Spark Armor. We have a Siege Tetra Jet Starscream beefed up utilizing... Um, uh, construct bots. Yeah. So it's been really cool, you know, like crossing the different lines, um, spark armor from Cyberverse, construct bots, and really anything with five millimeter peg and port is fair game. So if any of y'all um, out there mess with different toy lines and are familiar uh, with toys that utilize the five millimeter tech, please let me know.
so that I can invest my money and time into getting to know those brands as well. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really, 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 really,